is now being recorded. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. So I am Brandy Lissera, and I will be your teacher for this afternoon. Before that, uh, we will start our discussion for today with a prayer. Ms. Lavia, please lead a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Then if others want to spirit. So once again, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'd like to request everyone to please turn on their, your camera so I'll be seeing your pretty faces and handsome faces. All right, I am now seeing you. And I'd also like to monitor the attendance for today. Oh, I see everyone is present. No one is present. So I guess we will be having a great discussion this afternoon. Before that, um, I will be sharing to you my screen. For a while, class. Is my screen already visible? Right, I guess you're seeing already my screen. So, hello, good afternoon once again. Um, so, I will be um, introducing you our virtual class rules this afternoon. So, these are the things that I want you all to be and to have. You should be on time. Act like you're at school. Sit in one spot during class. Give yourself muted. Turn on your video. Raise your hand to talk, listen, no eating during class, have fun, and do your best. So that's it for our virtual classroom rules. I hope you have listened and observed this one. So before that, before we will start our discussion, I'd like someone to give us the recapitulation about yesterday's discussion. Yes, Mr. Madalo, you're recognized. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Madalo. You're right. So yesterday, we did discuss about the techniques in um, speaking, especially in conversing and giving some speech to, to the public. So for today, we will be discussing about developing an assessment tool in assessing speaking skill of the language learners in a research base. Speaking is an interactive process of constructing meaning that involves producing and receiving and processing information. So when we are able to relay message in a conversation, we open our mouth to utter some words and communication happens when there is an exchange of information. So it is called speaking. Teaching speaking, allowing the students to deliver and express their thoughts without hesitation, with the guide of their teachers. Assessing in teaching, speaking, we have to encourage our students in expressing their opinions and the like. So they will be able to build confidence within themselves. So by this, they will be able to harness or practice their speaking competence. As teachers, we have to be a listener. So our students would feel comfortable as every time they express their ideas and opinions. In assessing their speaking skill, there is a standard in measuring how proficient or bad students in speaking so that it is we will be discussing today or the assessing speaking. It is collecting of evidences in the speaking to measure its proficiency in speaking. 
Next, how do we communicate with others? So what kind of things are we trying to achieve? Do you have any idea, guys? All right, so. We communicate with others for a range of reasons. It could be interactional or transactional. Interactional communication is for social purposes, exchange of news, or catching up. There is no real aim for the conversation except to be friendly. In transactional communication, the conversation has an aim for instance buying something or asking about specific information. There are also presentations and monologues which have functional purposes. For example, to persuade or to complain. Next slide. What is involved in the speaking skills? So these are the things, what you can see in a slide now is the, are the things that is observed or involved in the speaking skill. So getting a message across, organizing a message for the listener, using a range of language for different purposes, being accurate so there are no misunderstandings, being fluent so a listener is not waiting, being intelligible, contributing to keeping the conversation going. So that is the things that we will be seeing or we will be observing when we will be talking about the speaking skill. Next. So what do you think are the issues might be in assessing speaking? So we have four examples here about the issues that we will be encountering during the assessment of speaking. So being objective. As teachers, you should not be objective just because that certain student is close to you. You should not give him or her a high score based on your relationship, but instead rely on the objects or on a different scenario. One must listen to a more clear and concise delivery at the message. Do not give different assessment to students because in order to result into a reliable one, you must be fair. You must be giving the same assessment task to the students. The uh, speaking activity should also be clear. So making a task clear and ambiguous. So that is the things that we will be um, observing during the assessment of speaking. So that ends our discussion for today. But I will be giving you some assignment or some work to do, homework to do. So these are the things to do after class. Give feedback about the speech of the late Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago. Link of the video speech is posted in Quaper and read a two-paragraph essay and present it through a video presentation to be uploaded in your YouTube accounts and paste it or paste the link to Quaper. But before that, I'd like someone to give a their sentiments or something that they have learned today. Yes, Mr. Madalo? All right, great. I see that you have listened to my discussion and you have acquired very great learning this afternoon. So proceed. I have also posted an assignment and quiz in Kuiper. So please, everyone, do it. So I'd like to stop sharing. Screen already, guys. All right. I hope you are having a great day this afternoon. I'll be having a screenshot, so I will. We will be having some events as for today's discussion. All right, thank you so much, class. You may now leave the classroom. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Thank you.